As promised, Avengers Infinity War saw some of Earth's mightiest heroes meet their end. But rather than wait for the second half of the story to hit in 2019, we're looking to the comics to examine just how permanent those deaths really are. What's up everybody, my name is Joshua Yale, and I'm going to look to the Infinity Gauntlet comic book to see how the Avengers can save the lives of everyone who was lost. That means I'll be going into full spoilers for the comic and the movie. Let's do it. Now, it's important to note that Infinity Gauntlet only loosely inspired the events of Infinity War, and its story is really, really different from the movie. The only common factors are that Thanos is up to no good with the Infinity Gauntlet, and the heroes have to stop him. That said, Kevin Feige has repeatedly stated that they look to specific moments in the comics when crafting the movies. So while they aren't adapting Infinity Gauntlet page by page, there are pivotal elements that influence the story. So now we're gonna dig into what those appear to be. The big question coming out of Infinity War is whether those heroes who Thanos eliminated with a snap of his fingers are truly dead. The short answer is no. And given that Spider-Man and most of the Guardians of the Galaxy are among those killed this way, despite having movies scheduled to come out in the future, we're pretty sure that these deaths are eventually going to be undone. The question, of course, is how? In the comics, Thanos continued to wield the Infinity Gauntlet after taking out the heroes. Eventually, the power went to his head and he left his body to bond with the universe, which allowed Nebula to easily remove the gauntlet from his defenseless body and use its power to undo all of the destruction that Thanos caused, including bringing all of the dead heroes back to life. As for what this means for Avengers 4, it's hard to say given that Infinity War played out quite differently. However, Nebula was a survivor of the Thanos Purge, which means she'll still be around in Avengers 4 to play a key role in beating the Mad Titan, just like in the comics. As for how she can do that, well, she's the only hero alive who knows Thanos on a personal level, so at the very least she might know the place where he retreated to at the end, and tracking down Thanos to his little homestead will likely be a top priority for the Avengers. Thanos even mentioned she already almost killed him in this movie, so it seems like she has a pretty good shot if she tries again with the Avengers on her side. Going back to the Infinity Gauntlet comic, that story wrapped up with cosmic hero Adam Warlock taking the gauntlet from Nebula and using it to restore peace to the universe. As convenient as it would be for a random yellow man to show up in Avengers 4 and easily fix everything, that's never gonna happen. Especially considering how director James Gunn said Adam Warlock is being saved for a role in the third Guardians of the Galaxy movie. That leaves the Avengers without an Infinity Stone know-it-all to help save the day, like in the comics. But whatever the solution is, I believe that'll all have to do with the Soul Stone. Remember that the Red Skull said it was unique because it has a certain wisdom over the others, which to me sounded like confirmation that it plays the same role as in the comics as the most important and powerful of the bunch. This all leads to my big theory. In the comics, the Soul Stone desires souls of living beings and actually has a whole soul world inside of it. What if all the people who turned to dust at the end of Infinity War were actually transported inside the Soul Stone? That way, they aren't actually dead dead, and it's just up to the Avengers to find a way to rescue them. As for how they're going to do that exactly, well, the Infinity Gauntlet comic doesn't really say. But we do know that there is a precedent in the comics for undoing all the death that Thanos caused, so we at least have a new hope going into Avengers 4. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of my theory in the comments. And for more Infinity War fun, check out our review of the movie and a list of every Easter egg we found in the film. And be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.